Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing my July favorites. It's a little bit late, <laughs> just like a little bit, but uh, it's, it's here and there are quite a few items and I feel like this month's like favorites video are all things that y'all aren't going to be surprised about. Like they're all things that I've been using very, very religiously on my channels. But we also got some, you know, we have makeup, we have some skincare, we have some hair care, and then we have a couple random bits. And if you haven't already, I did do a fashion favorites video, so I will link it in the, a little eye up here on one of these little thingies that should be popping up right here. Anyways, I'll link it up there, but I did do a fashion favorites that has all of my favorite fashion items, except for this one, because I forgot to mention this one. This one is just this cute little gray sweater from American Eagle. I love it. It's the softest thing ever. Like, I love it so much that, like, it is hot as balls in my room right now, but I really want to wear this, so I'm just, like, braving the heat because it's so freaking soft and cozy. So anyways, let's just get right into it because I have a lot of items to talk about. So let's start with makeup. Very first thing I picked up about a month ago, and I have already hit pan. Actually, I picked it up two weeks ago because I picked it up my last paycheck, so like two and a half weeks ago. It is the Kat Von D Blotting Powder. I have mine in the shade Light, as you can see. I have already hit pan. I use this to set my under eyes and kind of set my T-zone, and this makes your pores disappear. I first heard Kathleen Lights talking about it, and then I heard another person talking about it who I can't remember who it was, but this blurs your pores like nothing I've ever seen, and like fine lines, like I'm starting to get like little wrinkles right here, like my expression lines, because I laugh all the time, um, but like put this powder over it, blurs fine lines, blurs like pores. It's amazing. Plus, it's really, really good at, like, keeping my T-zone matte through the day. It, like, doesn't get weird on my nose. I've been setting my nose with this, and, like, sometimes powders go weird on my nose. It doesn't. It's absolutely amazing. The only thing I don't like is that it is a pressed powder, and I don't know about you all, but I feel like I go through pressed powders so much more, or so much quicker than I would go through a loose powder, so I wish they came out with this in a loose powder, but, I mean, it's supposed to be, like, a blotting powder. I I don't use it as a blotting powder, I just use it as a setting powder and it, it is absolutely astounding, like holy grail status, I love it. By the way, if I happen to seem not as energetic, I have a horrible headache right now but I really really wanted to film because I was sitting on my couch so bored, so I'm trying to keep it relatively chill because my head is just like pounding but we're gonna keep going. Next, again, it should come as no surprise, it is the NYX Ultimate Multi Finish Eyeshadow Palette. Like look how haggard this thing looks already and again I've had this for about a month this one is in the shade warm rust I've done I, I think three different tutorials or get ready with me's or whatever videos with this palette alone I love these palettes I did I kept the neon one but I gave the other two to friends because I just those weren't colors that I was going to use but the pigmentation in these are just amazing like they're absolutely gorgeous they blend like a dream they are phenomenal if you have been seeing if you've seen me wear red eyeshadow or like peach eyeshadow within the past couple weeks it has been from this palette and it is absolutely freaking bomb i can't put it down 10 out of 10 would recommend and i really hadn't really tried nyx eyeshadows before these like not really at all besides like a couple single shadows that they used to like have at ulta all the time but yeah, this thing is just so gorgeous and so perfect. So I've been loving this guy. Next, ever since Smashbox went cruelty free about, I want to say it was like two months ago now, I'll link the Logical Harmony post down below, but they are cruelty free now. So I've been wanting to try so much from that brand, but I especially wanted to try the foundation and the concealer because those are things that both like Jackie Ina and Nikia Joy, they swear by the foundation and like both of those ladies have really similar skin type to mine. So I knew that I would really like it because I like we like all the same foundations so I tried them and I love them so I got the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation in the shade 1.0 that is actually a really nice match for me it could be a little bit more yellow but 1.1 is a little bit more yellow that's actually the sample that I got and then I ended up getting this color but it's a little bit dark and then for the concealer I have the shade fair slash light I 
love these. I would say for the concealer, this is like in between Shape Tape and what's, it, and what's it called? Naked Skin. I would say it has the consistency of Naked Skin, but a bit more coverage, but it's not like super intense like the Shape Tape. I don't, I really like the Shape Tape, but part of me doesn't just because it is so intense and I just, I don't know, it's just too much for me sometimes. I really like, really, really like this concealer. Again, it doesn't make me oily. It doesn't like cake under my under eyes. It just wears so beautifully. The only thing that I will say about this is that this oxidizes a shade darker. So go up a shade if you want to purchase this. And it doesn't oxidize like super terrible. It doesn't go like orange, but it just does darken a little bit. So keep that in mind if you, um, they do have a shade lighter than this too. I think they might have, they might have two shades lighter than this. Don't quote me on that. I think there might be just one. It's just such a good concealer. And the foundation, I realize that found, this foundation actually reminds me a lot of the Sonia Kashuk Soft Focus Satin Matte Foundation. Like, if I were to do a dupe video, I would say that, like, the Sonia Kashuk Foundation is a dupe for this foundation. But, but this one doesn't oxidize as much as the Sonia Kashuk one, and I would say, I would say it's a little bit more natural looking. Like, it literally, this reminds me, actually, this also reminds me of Naked Skin, if Naked Skin wore better on my oily skin, because this is very much so, like, medium buildable coverage. Um, this also has better coverage than Naked Skin, but this is, like, what I wanted Naked Skin to be, where it still looks natural, and it still looks gorgeous and flawless on your skin, but it has full coverage and or it can have full coverage and it doesn't make me an oily mess it's just stunning I absolutely love this foundation and I'm so happy because y'all know foundation is one of my favorite things to try and it's always awesome to find another foundation because I'm obsessed with foundation and by the way I am wearing the foundation and the concealer today okay next these should come as no surprise either. Where's the other one? I dropped it. Are the new Milani Strobe Light Highlighting Powders. Oh my god. So I have the shade Afterglow, which is this like really, really gorgeous pink shade. That's Afterglow. And I do, I have this on my inner corners and on my brow bone. And then I have the shade Sun Glow. And this one is the one that I have been using religiously. I've just been a, like really, like, Look at that. I actually want to swatch this next to Champagne Pop because I really feel like they're similar. <gasps> Holy crap, you guys. Okay, so Champagne Pop is a little bit more peachy. Champagne Pop is on the bottom here and Sun Glow is right here. So... Uh, yeah, okay, Champagne Pop is a little bit peachier. I swear, on the face, they look super, super similar. So if you didn't want to splurge on Champagne Pop, I feel like you could get this and get around the same effect. But these are just so intense, so buttery, so blendable, not glittery. They're just stunning. I'm wearing uh, Sun Glow on my cheeks right now. It's so cute. Look at it. I've just been obsessed. I literally cannot stop using Sun Glow. I've just been really into the gold highlights recently. I don't know. I really do love this one too. Y'all know I love like kind of icy pink highlights. This one reminds me a lot of the Ofra and Dupe That collab that I love in You Glow Girl. Uh, yeah, I'm just obsessed. These are like 10 bucks a piece, so they're a little bit on the pricey side for drugstore. I did get these buy one, get one half off. Hey, hey, and I kind of want all the other colors because they're seriously bomb and they last on my face all day. They're amazing. Okay, next items I have are a few brushes. So the first is this rounded blush brush from Makeup Geek. Let me hold it up here so you can see it. First of all, Makeup Geek, Marlena, what kind of blush are you putting on with this tiny little little brush. So I, if you saw, if you all followed me on Snapchat a really long time ago, probably like a month and a half ago, I went through all my brushes and decluttered them and got rid of all of my Morphe brushes because I know that some people say they're cruelty free, but I honestly do not trust them. I have heard very sketchy things about just them and their like so-called cruelty free status. So I'm just choosing not to purchase them. That's totally up to your discretion. If you believe that they're cruelty free, go for it. I just personally don't want to buy from them because I don't trust them. So I went through and got rid of all of my Morphe brushes as well as all of my brushes that were not synthetic hair. And y'all know I love that Morphe M501 for highlighting. Like that was my ride or die and it's been the 
roughest time trying to find a new highlighting brush but I actually love this for highlighting I thought this would be too dense and it is a little bit denser of a brush but this just like you just stamp the highlight on and then you can kind of blend in circles to blend it and it just it works amazingly and I really really love it so this is the brush that I have been going for for highlighter literally every single day I even bought a one of these elf beautifully precise stippling brushes because I thought oh, okay that might be a cute highlighting brush now I don't really like it I might like it for like under eyes or something I don't know I'll have to find a different way to use this because it was ten dollars for an elf brush but water bugs anyways I love this brush so if you're looking for a good cruelty free synthetic highlighting brush I would highly recommend the makeup geek round blush brush and then if y'all follow me on snapchat you will see that after I decluttered my brushes I decided to splurge and buy myself a Sigma eye brush set I it was like a hundred and I think it was hundred and fifty dollars for 13 brushes which really isn't that bad and then I was able to just I just googled a discount code and it came down to like 125 plus free shipping for 13 brushes so that brings it to a about $10 a brush which is not bad and especially like Sigma is known for their quality so we're just kind of a like quick spark notes review of the Sigma brush set I got the Sigma copper eyes I believe it's called I will have a link down below um, but it's all eye brushes and I absolutely love it I think that for my money I got exactly what I needed because I really needed a bunch of different brushes for a bunch of different things you know I needed blending brushes I needed those precise brushes I needed different size but blending brushes so I want to show you three right here that I've been going to every single day I absolutely love them like I said I really do think that if you want to splurge on a high-end like brush set I would recommend this one especially for eyes well this only has eye brushes duh but I really think it's an awesome very unique very versatile brush set so the first one I want to talk about is the Sigma E35 this is really similar to the Sigma E40 I'll show you the E40 so I would say that the E35 is just a little bit more tapered, I would say. And this has just been like my go-to blending brush just for transition shades, for blending in circles, for just kind of diffused color whenever I just want like a wash of color. Or since these are nice and like kind of long, I can really kind of deepen color right in the crease. And I just think it's so super awesome. I think, that, like I said, this one's a little bit more tapered than the Sigma E40. The Sigma E40 isn't anything that, like, I don't know. It's not anything that, like, particularly stuck out to me, but I just like this one a little bit better because I think it is a little bit more tapered, and I like that because the Sigma E40 just seems like a little bit of a cone of bristles, and this one has a little bit of taper to it. I don't know. I just like this one. The next is the Sigma E25. Now, this is the brush that, like, there was what was it, like the Morphe E something and then the Mac there's like a Mac brush that looks exactly like this it's like this paddle shaped brush and I, I mean I'm sure you have seen this brush or variations of this brush everywhere this is literally perfect the only thing I will say is I wish it was a little bit fluffier I don't know if you can see how thin it is when you turn it on its side but I feel like the fluffiness will come once I kind of rough it up a little bit I really do feel like these brushes are going to perform a little bit better and a little bit like how I want them a little bit more how I want them to once they kind of get roughed up but this is just so good for packing colors in your outer corner or inner corner and blending like a little bit more precisely through the crease it's just bomb I mean this is one of their like cult favorite cult classics and I can see why the next now y'all know I loved my Morphe M507 I love this one more this is the Sigma small taper blending E45 brush now this it's a nice like really really tapered it comes to this crazy fine point but still has like some flexibility to it but it's dense enough and this is perfect I love this for really really deep shades for really getting in that outer corner and like packing because I always get this like spot in my outer corner right here that like always just needs deepened up like it always just looks a little bit patchy right there so I really like taking deep colors and just stamping it right in that outer corner and it's nice because you can't like really really blend with this but you can diffuse it and kind of soften it out and then go back with a little bit bigger blending brush and blend it out but this is so nice especially for like the inner corner it really comes to that like super fine point and you can really be super precise with it I love this blending brush so much and like I mean honestly if you're gonna buy three brushes from Sigma 
I would say these three because they're my favorite and I feel like you just have like your small, medium, large blending brushes and you can do so much with them. Okay, now I have a couple like my like randoms plus like skincare. So the first one I want to talk about is the Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost Moisturizer from Tarte. This is the sample size. I got this as a Sephora like point perk and this has actually lasted me a really long time. This is such an amazing moisturizer. I've been using this like every day when I wake up before I put on my makeup and it literally it makes your skin feel hydrated and primed and so smooth and soft. It has that kind of like watery gel consistency and it just sinks in to your skin so nicely and really like wakes you up. It has an awesome smell to it. I'm definitely buying the full size when I go through this. I love this stuff so much and I have never really tried anything from Tarte Skincare but their stuff is like really impressing me so I really want to try more if you all have tried anything from Tarte's like line of skincare that like double mask that came out recently has me intrigued um but yeah if y'all have tried anything from Tarte skincare that you would recommend please leave me comments down below but this is such an awesome like I said just everyday daily moisturizer before your makeup it's amazing I love it I've been really really trying to like super hydrate my skin to kind of combat my oily skin and I really feel like this has been helping and is giving my OCA ones a run for its money which is saying a lot because y'all know I love my OCA moisturizers. Okay, next skincare item is the Hemp's uh, Triple Moisture Herbal Whipped Body Cream. Now, okay, I have to put some of this on. I used to, you know, at Ulta, they have sample, like, try up, what are they, um, testers of all of the, like, Hemp's body lotions. I used to use those all the time when I worked at Ulta, just, like, when I was at work, after I would wash my hands, I would run to the Hemp section and tr put on some moisturizer. This stuff smells amazing I can't it's like a citrusy sweet smell it smells like citrus candy almost oh it's so good and it just sinks in so nicely and makes my skin feel so much moisturized and so hydrated and I don't know this shit is expensive but I actually found it on sale for like half off it was like $12 these are like $25 bottles of lotion which is kind of absurd if you can find them at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls they usually have them on a little bit of a discount too so check that but I found this like randomly half off at my Walgreens so score if y'all found this at Walgreens for half off go check because I think they might be like ending the line there I don't know but it's definitely worth checking like I said I've only had this for a couple weeks and I've gone through a ton of it especially like you all know I also love my Camille Beckman silk body cream but I've been using this a lot especially the last time that I fake tan I pretty much use this from like start to finish with my fake tan and I like when I fake tan, I use moisturizer while I am actually applying self-tanner, and then I use moisturizer every time I get out of the shower or every time before I go to bed, and this is, like, what I was using. It's so nice and smells so good. Okay, and then recently, super exciting, Aveda reached out to me right as Aveda was going on Logical Harmony's cruelty-free list, which is super exciting, and, like, <clears throat> hair care has been the thing that I've been slacking on when it comes to like I'm still transitioning it to being cruelty free now it is actually all cruelty free I got rid of all my stuff that isn't but like that was just I don't style my hair much at all like really at all and so I was just like slacking because I was going through my products so slowly so I finally was sent some products from Aveda they were crazy generous and I really want to do a um, updated skin or hair care favorites because I did an updated skin care favorites so now I want to do an updated updated hair care favorites and Aveda is definitely in those favorites I have been trying them for about the past month and I want to just talk about two items today and they're both from the Shampure line and it is the dry shampoo and dry conditioner now I think dry conditioner I really think it's just like a leave-in conditioner like a conditioner that you put in your hair while it's dry it's not actually like a dry formula like it's wet oh my god it smells so good too. Aveda's signature smell is just like so nice and natural and but not like some natural stuff just straight up smells gross. Like a lot of Pacifica's stuff smells straight up gross but their stuff just smells very like like you're at a spa like very lavender kind of lemongrassy. Mmm so good. So this is it's a thermal dry conditioner. It says it instantly softens with a calming aroma like I said. It does have a great smell and this is just what I will use kind of as like kind of a styling spray slash like heat protectant and before I curl my hair and this gives my hair 
so much freaking texture. It's amazing. Like, I have very, uh, like, I have pretty textured hair from my haircut. Like, my haircut is very, very PC and, like, layered. And so I really like that look. I like that kind of messy, tousled look. And this helps it along so much. I don't know what it is, but, like, it's funny because... The girl that does my hair is a friend of mine, and she actually graduated from the Aveda Institute, so whenever she would come over, there was a fly, um, <laughs> whenever she would come over to do my hair, like, her hair always looked, like, so perfectly PC and tousled, and I was just like, God, I want my hair to look like that, and then when I curled my hair and used this, my hair looked like that. It was just fantastic. I absolutely freaking love this stuff, so if you're really into, like, textured PC hair. I really think you'll like that stuff. And then dry shampoo. I just have been needing a dry shampoo. This again has that same signature scent. It has a really weird, like these are pretty popular on like more natural um, dry shampoos, but you basically like, I don't want to squeeze it out, but you, can you see it puffing out a little bit? Maybe if I put it under the black. Yeah, you see it like puffing out a little bit? Uh, you basically squeeze it and it just kind of puffs dry shampoo into your hair, which is like a little bit inconvenient because it's kind of hard to control how much you get. But this again, like absorbs oil like no other without leaving a gritty residue. It definitely leaves a residue and it leaves texture in your hair, but it's not a residue that I mind. Like it's not something super, super heavy. And I'm, I'm really picky with like, if my hair feels gross, I will just throw it up and like not deal with it. But this is just so nice. It gives me so much volume, like in absurd amounts of volume. It's nice and easy to brush through your hair and it doesn't like, obviously I have jet black freaking hair and like sometimes, you know, dry shampoo will just go and just kind of just stick to it, but you can really brush it out. So my favorite way to use this is to kind of, you know, dust it through my hair and then run my fingers through it and kind of massage it into my scalp and then I'll take a brush and go through it. It's just an awesome dry shampoo and I have been struggling to find a good cruelty-free dry shampoo, so I really like it this one. Okay, now time for the random section. So first, I have a bra to talk about. I was going to talk about this in my fashion favorites, but I forgot, so <laughs> I'm going to talk about it here. It is just by Hanes, and it is this little guy. I'll try to link it down below. It looks straight up like a grandma bra, but I promise it doesn't look... I'll just show you. Isn't it cute? It's super cute. It doesn't look nearly as like grandma e on. You know what I mean? Um, this is just super nice. Again, they're by Hanes. I got mine at Kohl's, and for me, I cannot wear, like, real bras anymore. I cannot do the, the underwire, the, like, the, just the, mm, like, I can't do it. I just, I'm really into the natural boob look, and I'm really trying to embrace my natural boobs, but I do, like, need some support. Like, if I don't have something holding these girls down, they like to fly away everywhere. So, this is just the perfect amount, because, like, there's no underwire. It's, like, the material of just, like, stretchy underwear, but the thing is, is, like, with a lot of the, like, cheaper bras like this, the elastic band around the waist will stretch out, and then it'll do that thing where, like, the back of your bra starts to creep up towards your shoulder blades, which is not comfortable. Like, this stays secure right where it needs to all day. It is so comfortable, and what's nice is these little straps can come off, and you can kind of, like, crisscross your bra straps if you need to, and it's just so comfortable. These were 30 bucks, which I think is pretty expensive for, like, a little bra like this, but it, they really are really nice quality. Like I said, the elastic doesn't stretch out, and, or, like, it stretches out, but it keeps its shape really well. I'm in the size medium, by the way, and in, like, Victoria's Secret sizes, I'm a 32 triple D, um, so just for reference, that's what I like to do, but so many times with these kind of more bralette style bras, I have the problem of I would need like a small on my waist, but like a large for my chest, and this I just think pro proportions really nicely, and I don't have any spillage on any sides of my boobies, and I just really freaking like it. So I will try to link these down below if you're in need of just some good, comfy, natural booby bras. <laughs> Okay, then I have a couple more items to talk about. The first is a beverage from Starbucks that I have been living, gagging, breathing, dying over. It was so much so. So, like, there's a Starbucks right by my work, so, of course, I go there 
constantly and one of the girls that works there was telling me that they were getting these like tea infusions which I'm sure you all have seen and because I always get I used to get like the mango black tea lemonades or just mango black teas and so she told me she's like Katie we're getting these new infusions and I think you're gonna love them and I was like hell yeah all about it and I am obsessed with the peach citrus white tea infusion so good if you haven't had it yet go get it it's the perfect amount of like fruity without being syrupy and sweet without being like overly sweet they're just they're so freaking delicious and refreshing and energizing and they're just so nice without feeling like too syrupy like the peach honestly tastes like a peach it doesn't taste like candy peach like artificial peach it's so good so I've been getting those like seriously constantly at least like a venti a day I'm obsessed with them and then the very last random item I have to talk to y'all about is Death Note so I watched my very first anime for the first time this month and it was Death Note and it was amazing so I worked at Hot Topic for two years and I never watched one anime just because I just wasn't into them I just didn't I just didn't you know which if you're not into something you just don't watch them and David and I have been getting into like we've been trying to watch a lot of Studio Ghibli movies I also watched my first Studio Ghibli movie we watched Howl's Moving Castle and I absolutely loved it and like David has grown up watching anime and grown up watching um grown up watching Studio Ghibli films so he's just been like showing them to me more and he was like we should really watch Death Note and we had watched like we had finished The Office and we had finished another show I can't remember and so we were just like looking for another show and so it was it was Death Note and like if you haven't seen it it's so good like I I mean like I said I'm not an anime watcher and we did find like a dubbed version on uh, Netflix so for y'all that care about that there's a dubbed version on Netflix but it's so good like in so fast moving like seriously from episode one you're sucked in and you continue to be sucked in like there was a couple like twists and turns that I was just kind of like uh but it still kept it really interesting um you just don't know who to root for it's it's amazing I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna tell you what it's about because I think you should just watch it but if you're looking for a good pretty short it's one season and it's like I think it's like 40 episodes or something like that just just watch it just watch it just do it that's all I'm gonna say just freaking do it so you guys that is everything for my July favorites I am sweating balls in this it is so hot I can't anyways so I'm going to wrap this up I hope you guys enjoyed this July favorites and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and let me know your July favorites down below or if I mentioned something that you like or hate talk to me about it talk to me in the comments I love you all so freaking much and I will see you guys in my next video bye